Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today I'm extremely excited because I managed to get my hands on the latest Buzz TV X5 Android box. Now this is Buzz TV's latest much improved device. This hasn't been officially launched yet. Uh, it is supposed to be launched on the 19th of May 2022. This is much improved than their previous models. This, this runs on Android 11. It has about 128 gigs of internal memory, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, a very fast M-Logic processor, and it supports 4K Ultra HD. Now, let's quickly do the unboxing first, and then I will connect this to my TV to test all the different features. All right, guys, let's do the unboxing of the new Buzz TV X5 Android box. Uh, as you can see, it comes in a plain black box with the image of the device on top. Uh, X5 model, 128 AI. This is because this, is one, this one has 128 internal memory. Uh, there isn't much information on the sides. Uh, let's go to the back side. Now on the back, uh, you have the image of the smart remote and some of the features mentioned here. So let's uh, open the box. Okay, we've got uh, information to, uh, to, to the website uh, if you want to know more about the smart remote or the quick start guides. Uh, then we have the new Bus TV X5 device and we'll come to this in a bit. Let's check out the other contents of the box. So we have the HDMI cable. We have the smart remote. Uh, we've got the batteries for the remote. And then we have the power cable for the power adapter. So Let's open the power adapter. So you can see this is the power adapter, the cable for the adapter and the socket adapters, you know, depending on which part of the world you are in, in the US, Europe, and so on. There you go. So this is all we get inside the box. Let's keep all this aside and now let's look at the Buzz TV X5 Android box more closely. So very nice design I must say, it's slightly different to what I've been seeing in different Android boxes. Uh, it's not very heavy, um, quite durable, you've got enough space for uh, ventilation so the device doesn't heat up. Um, you have two TR antennas for transmitting and receiving. This is for the Wi-Fi. You have uh, the USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 here. Then you have a socket for the TF card. On the front side, you don't really have anything. This is just for the IR remote. And then looking at the back, you have the AV uh, connection, uh, Ethernet LAN for internet, the HDMI cable, the optical uh, socket for audio, and then the power input. Um, that's it. Uh, so very simple device, uh, nice looking with dual antennas. This is the latest uh, BT400 remote control. This is the 2022 model. And uh, the new feature in this one is that this has the auto TV learning capability. And we'll test that when we switch on the device. Looks nice, by the way. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you an idea about the size of the new Buzz TV X5 device uh, compared to some of the other boxes in the market, the ones that I've already tested. Uh, as you can see, it's not very different when it comes to the size. Uh, very similar to quite a, a lot of the boxes. The Superbox S3 Pro is a little bigger uh, than this box. Uh, but again, this is not something that you would carry around. This sits next to your TV. So even if it is big, 
uh, doesn't really matter which is not it's quite a nice size uh, very decent looking device so all right so let's uh, let me now connect this to the tv and then we will test all the different features of this new box all right so i have uh, powered on the device and it took around 37 seconds for the device to start and get to the main home page of the system uh, 37 seconds is not bad to be honest it's a good speed so now this is the main home page of the buzz tv system uh, this is very similar to the one that uh, you see in other buzz tv uh, devices so let's the first thing i would like to actually do is go to the settings and change the background image so let's do that so we go to settings and then we click on this bg image that's the background image now if you have a background image already stored on a flash drive you can use that or in fact you can use uh, any image that you can you download from uh, google you can use that as well so i have an image that i have created that's down let's uh, set that as uh, the background wallpaper there you go now uh, for those of you who are not very familiar with the bus tv setup uh, this is the main uh, home page and this is the standard default layout but if you don't like the layout uh, you can actually go to the settings uh, option and then click on the buzz utilities uh, there you will find four different kind of layout options um, and i'll show you a couple of them but the best one i like is this one which is the default standard one which is called the buzz tv modern layout so now let's me, let me give you a quick intro to the to the layout on the screen uh, you will find on the top right you can find you know the time date and all the standard things you also have an option to go into the settings but the main uh, area of this home page you will find three roles the first row is actually for the live tv so you have the live tv channels the video on demand movies tv series recorded uh, footage and then finally the tv guide the one in the middle row is actually for all applications so you can click on this all app icon it takes you to uh, the full page of all the applications that are already installed uh, on this device now there are some pre-installed applications but you can use the google play store and you know download more applications if you want you can also add favorite channels in this middle row and i'll show you how to do that in later now this third row is for the applications here we have some pre-installed apps appearing uh, and these are all the apps that have been clicked as favorites uh, and you can always go and change these now let's go to the settings uh, area and see uh, some details about this device so we click on the device and then about device and you can see that uh, all the details are mentioned uh, this is the x5 128 AI model and uh, obviously it's running on the Android 11 operating system what we can also do then is actually look at the storage uh, now there is internal space of 115 GB and I don't think we would have 115 available for us to store stuff uh, it would be somewhere around 105 uh, so the next thing I would like to do is actually go to ADA 64 which would give me more specifications about this uh, Android box. Now, I know a lot of people don't appreciate getting a lot of uh, these specifications. It's very confusing for them. Uh, they are more interested in the actual performance of this device. So I would not take a lot of time. I'll just show a couple of uh, benchmarks. One is the ADA64 and then the Geekbench, uh, just for all those people who would want to know more uh, specification details. Now before we start testing the different applications, the first thing I would actually like to do is test the internet speed that we get on this box. So I will run two tests, one on the Ethernet LAN and the other one on Wi-Fi. So let's start off by checking the Ethernet LAN internet speed. So we are getting really, really good speed on download, which is 442. I have a 500 uh, connection, so getting a 442 is really good. And I'm also getting an up, uh, upload speed about 156, which is also really good. Now, with this speed, I can get 8K stream. Uh, for this box, uh, 442 is more than enough. Now, let's go to the Wi-Fi uh, internet speed. 
we are getting again we're getting very decent speed 228 uh, on download and about 142 on upload so again more than enough uh, what we need on this box to run live tv and videos smoothly now let's start the real test you know let's start testing different applications to see the performance on this new box so the first thing i would like to test is the live tv which is you know the main attraction of this box now one thing to keep in mind is that this box does not come with any uh, TV subscriptions. You need to go and buy a live TV package and then get the details which you then need to insert in the application here to, you know, to be able to see all those live channels and movies and so on. So I have taken uh, a test package uh, to run this video. So let me add the details of that test subscription. And as soon as I add the details, uh, all the channel list will start loading and it will take us to this home page. Now, this is the home page of the package that I've, uh, you know, asked for a test. So let me give you a quick tour of how the layout for a live TV setup is. On the extreme left, you will find folders of different countries and different, different groups. Uh, like movies, you know, US sports, US kids, US entertainment, so on. Uh, and right in the middle are all those channels that are within each of those folders on the left. And on the extreme right, you would see a preview of the channel which is playing. And then at the bottom, some details about what is playing on that channel. Tell me something I don't know. Shirts on inside out. Now what you can do here is, you know, you can click on the yellow button on the remote, which then sets this channel as one of the favorite. And then this channel will also appear on the main home page of the device. You remember the third row that we have on the main home page? All the channels that are set up as favorites will appear on, on the home page on the second row. Coming back from injury. And then Planet Legend sticking towards the inside. But if you give me a minute on this one, okay? You're right. The day she got her first period. Charming. Oh, and this one was for little Miss Evans. Let me propose a third option. Economy or bubbles bursting or bad. Now, I must say I'm extremely impressed with the, the resolution and the video output. This is definitely uh, 4K content, which is playing on live TV and uh, the video on demand movies and TV series. Very impressive. It's very stable. Uh, the channels are really good. I can see that they are smooth. And uh, the time it's taking to move from one channel to another also is really really good you know I've, I've tested a lot of boxes and usually it takes uh, you know a second or two to move from one channel to another but on this device you know it's instant now let's test the YouTube app uh, what I'm interested to see is if uh, YouTube can play 4k content all right so as we can see uh, it is definitely playing uh, 4k content and you know the the quality is is very clearly 4k Now let's test the Netflix application. Now one thing to note is that if you go through the Google Play Store or other applications to download Netflix, you would find a message saying that the device is not compatible with this application. 
but uh, that's a, that's a problem that I faced as well. Uh, so what I did was I went to the Google uh, search bar and got uh, an APK file for Netflix which I installed with the APK installer. So that's a note that you need to keep in mind that from the Google Play Store or other devices, uh, even if you go directly to the Netflix, Netflix website, you will not be able to download the application. You have to go and find um, an APK file for Netflix and then download and install it here. Well, it seems to be more of the Netflix app uh, problem. I don't think it's anything wrong with the with this TV box. What's going on? The sun comes up every morning. It's going to pierce me, you, everybody. The Yoga was due to be decommissioned after this. Now let's test the, the Prime Videos app. Uh, I tried to... Uh, connect my TV, uh, my computer with the, with the box, but then Amazon app wasn't uh, actually working. So I had to connect it with the TV. So uh, as you can see, the content is quite clear. Uh, this is an ultra HD uh, movie trailer. Now, the final thing I would like to test on the playback bit is actually play a movie file uh, from the USB flash drive. Now, this is an important factor for any TV box. A lot of people use their flash drives to play music and movies. So let's connect the USB flash drive with the box. Uh, I have a very heavy 4K 60 FPS file on my uh, USB drive and let's see if the device can play that smoothly. Wow, I, this is definitely 4K and I'm very impressed with the result. Uh, it's very, very smooth. You know, this, fi this particular file is very heavy and has created problems uh, on other TV boxes. But on this one, I think it is handling quite nicely. Okay, now the final thing that I would like to test is actually the gaming app. So let's download uh, one of the gaming apps from the Google Play Store. Let's select one of the racing games. Yeah, let's select this one, Beach Buggy. Yeah, it's it's perfectly fine. It's working fine, and uh, in fact, I'm using the remote control to you know control the game. But you can also attach a game pad or a joystick if you want to uh, you know play games on this device. So quite nice. That's it guys, uh, overall I'm quite uh, impressed with the device. You know, the good things, as I said earlier, it is Android 11, 4 GB RAM. It has the latest and the fastest uh, CPU chipset, 128 GB internal memory. Uh, it has LAN ethernet connection. It has the dual band Wi-Fi uh, and so many other features. Uh, so, you know, overall really impressed with the device. The only drawback about this one is the Netflix. Now, as you know, everyone loves Netflix. People watch it on a regular basis. If we can find a solution on the Netflix app, one is able to download and install the app through the Play Store. And two is if we can, uh, if we are able to at least play 1080p content on, on Netflix, that would be great. If you are interested to buy this device, just go to the description uh, of this video. You'll find a link that takes you directly to the manufacturer's website. If you have any questions about this device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.